Ain't I rough enough? Tough enough? I mean, that remains to be seen. You know what I was wondering? Is karma like our uh, points for this uh, video game we call life here, right? Like, is karma... When you, when you get good karma, you gain points, you know? It takes you to different levels. You can now choose better things to carry with you, better weapons, better um, gifts, right? And then you get bad karma because you do bad shit and you lose points. Uh, and then, you know, you're not, you're not as ahead in the game. So I think karma is like the point system for this video game that we call life, okay? All right, let's see what's up. What do they want to talk about? Oh, I'm philosophical. This is my channel, and I'm still a bad mother, okay? And, and I'm not going nowhere. And that's just a wrap, so let's just see. What else? Let's lay out here. Mentor. I'm going to take it. I'm, I feel like this is in the upright, okay? Like, what we're interested in now is wisdom, knowledge. This light's a little bright. Hold on. Time on my hands. You take it on the run, baby. Somebody's on the run, or they're about to go on the run again, or they're already on the run. Here. Hold on, let me see. Okay. <laughs> Oh shit, it's just funny. I don't know, it's funny. But what we want now is like, we just want to learn about life while we're here. It makes what's going on in the world now not so bad because you're distracted by this instead of bullshit, you know? You're distracted by learning about yourself, other people, the brain, people's minds, what makes people do the things they do, okay? I mean, this is just what I feel like. You're like refining your own character, okay? Both are incredible. So you and your person, if you're with somebody, could be doing this and they're saying that you both are incredible people. Okay, let's see what they're talking about here. Mentor, tell me about this mentor. Mentor. Yeah, and I feel like you like passing this on and sharing this. It's like a giving without wanting anything in return. Like it makes you happy. It's Follow your taste buds, they'll show you the way. So some of you may be realizing that some food's not sitting right with you. Uh, maybe when you level up and you ascend, it's like the food that you were eating before, you can't eat the same shit anymore because it actually has a physical effect on you. Some of us mental, it has like a mental effect on us. Let me put this more down on the table, okay? So let's see. You could be a water sign, masculine. That's this mentor or you, someone feels like you're, or this is somebody that you're connected to. It could be a water sign or a fire sign. Somebody could see you as a teacher. They can see you as a mentor. I feel like that's what this is here, 333. You're, you're teaching them about what, using their intuition? I think there's somebody around you that you offered some kind of genuine love to as a mentor. You're doing this like genuinely, okay? And now they're using their intuition. They could be noticing certain things now that they're using it. They could be noticing certain things about certain people. Oh, let me put these. Yeah, there's also... You could have helped somebody, like was a mentor to somebody during a dark night of the soul or a dark time in their life, okay? You, you help somebody uh, with addictions, with maybe a substance abuse, uh, gambling. I, I just think you are a, you're a mentor to somebody. I also see that you were a mentor to somebody and then they were, they were plotting on you you were being a mentor to somebody who was like plotting your demise the whole time too is what I see here. I also feel like for those of you who have this in the upright, this makes you really happy. Your your wish fulfillment. I do. I, I think with this nine of cups, this is also like addictions to me, like substance abuse. 
you you were either sent to somebody to mentor them, which to me is, you know, just let them, we, we it's a healing energy, but it's more healing with words and facts and wisdom and knowledge. So this could have been somebody that had a drinking addiction, a drink or alcohol addiction, I mean, with the nine of cups. The needle in the haystack. They put, somebody's like a not a dime a dozen motherfucker. Okay, somebody is a needle in a haystack here. Like you're never gonna get this again. You're never gonna have somebody that actually wanted to help you grow. There's another person here that treated you like you were just like everybody else. But not everybody else in this person's life came into their life to help them grow and level up. Not everybody did that. You did though. Five five five. And this, this lit up. I'm going to put this here so you can see that light up. And somebody's, you know, now probably going through the dark night of the soul. So, for, you know, there's another part. So you you tried to mentor somebody while you were going through the dark. Do you know? Look, I know if they came after you. Possibly a water sign. but uh, Or they're jealous of somebody that, that you're in a relationship with. It could be a water sign. There's definitely... Uh, a water sign here that you walked away from, right? And then they had abandonment issues, okay? They could have walked away from you, put a how it fits, whatever it is, but like, now it's like, so whether you walk, so for this energy to be here, this five of swords, I'm guessing you walked away because, I mean, it would take a real cuckoo, but that's kind of what we're dealing with, with a lot of these people that would walk away from you and then, and then come after you. It's like, well, you should have just never walked way I mean it's just one plus one right I don't know not for everybody right but there's one person here who mentored and wanted to help somebody I want it's like I just want to teach you some things about life I you know I, what do I need to learn and and I think you were even going through a difficult time so okay thank you you were put into somebody's life or they were put into yours while you were going through the dark night of the soul they were supposed to be a mentor to you okay they were supposed to help you and you guys were supposed to together whether this is a friendship or a relationship or a family what a family member whatever but you were brought she's a good girl yeah so you could be a female and you're a good person and you offered genuine like knowledge, wisdom to somebody. And they were like, I don't want it. I even think you were going through the dark night of the soul or you were going through a dark time and you still wanted to give this to somebody. This could be multiple people where you're like, damn man, I was actually like, like at the worst point of my life. But when I came across people, I still wanted to be kind and offer like advice maybe for what you were going through. You wanted to tell people, look, I would stop doing this or this is what put me in this situation. And somebody else didn't think that they needed this mentoring from you. Okay. Page of Swords. It's something you said. You were saying to somebody and they didn't listen. I'm a bad boy for breaking her heart. So somebody broke your heart. Queen of Swords. You were very loving and nurturing and kind to somebody here. There's a lot of cups here though. There's a, there's a drinker here. There's definitely a drinker here. Okay. There, this, this... There's another thing here too, but somebody lied about you being this mentor, that you were smart, that you were offering like good advice. So all oh, the vampire. So this was an energy vampire. Yeah, the bad boys. So you were offering your love to bad boys, divine feminine, whoever, or, or put it how it fits vice versa you were offering males your genuine love and wisdom and like you're smart to your brain which is valuable as shit to people or women that were bad girls they didn't care they don't want it to change you can't tell me you can't tell me i'm drinking too much somebody could literally be like going through alcohol withdrawal now because it's like they didn't think they had a alcohol problem until the alcohol wasn't there that's usually how it happens right it's like i don't have a pill addiction until the pills run out so i don't know i just feel like somebody here is like you were you know you were just on your journey you, you were you were probably told to, to do this to somebody i think it's multiple people i just think like 
You are offering your love and genuine healing energy because you weren't using your intuition, right? These people were greedy. They were taking advantage of this like Queen of Cups energy that you have. You could be a water sign. There's a lot of water here, but that's that's for someone specific. But genuinely, this is just a lot of like love with all these cups. Cups are love. It's like you are a very loving person. And, and it's like these people were like coming against you. Like they almost made you feel like you had to defend yourself or put your guard up or something like that. There's a lot of envy and jealousy here. Look at this. There's a lot of like, but we don't, why, 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 why would you be like this towards somebody who was genuine to you? I don't fucking understand it. It could only be mental illness. I don't know what else it could be because nobody in their right mind here with all of this love here and a mentor and somebody who wants to help people grow and teach people would, would be like that to somebody would be like vengeful and jealous and envious. I, I just, I don't think I'm ever going to fully really understand it because I just, I don't feel like I have to, you know, and it's good because that means when you cannot figure it out and understand it, you're not like that. So, all right. So let me, let me get some of these. I got to put it over here. It's like staticky free fallen so you you it's like a they didn't like your free spirit attitude here you know it's it's like i said i'm fucking weird you know look at me it's like i wear stripes and and letters and and i just i i have my own style and i don't care what people think about it usually what i've realized in my life is that there are there are females that used to come around me and I knew they didn't like me, but I didn't even pick up on it until like I started thinking about it after I wasn't around them. Wouldn't these motherfuckers literally like start wearing their hair like me or wearing their shirts if I cut my own shit? Like I would always alter my clothes in some way just to fit my style and what made me feel comfortable. I'm the kind of broad where I would rather be comfortable when I'm wearing than to be fixing straps and skirts and shit and shoes and having my blisters all over my feet. I cannot get down like that. I will not do that to myself. I had people around me, like family members and family members who dressed like that. And it's like they would look down on me like, you're fucking uncomfortable. You look like someone sets you on fire. You can't sit still. It's, you know, and people don't like the fact that you don't feel the need to copy them. Thank you. You, They wanted you to copy them. One, two, three, four. And the whole time, these people were kind of copying you. Your mother. I just saw a mother. This queen of cups could be a mother. You offered love to a mother. Where it's a mothering energy that you've always had. You offered your love to a woman beater. Someone specific here. There's, there is a Queen of Cups energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy that offered their love to a woman beater. Lost. Why lost? They're embarrassed about something here. <sighs> you could have warned somebody. Oh, that's what this was. Whoever this Queen of Cups energy is, somebody else was put into their life to warn them about somebody being like violent or that they somebody knew like, oh, I saw him, what he did to his ex or I saw what looks like the shoes on the other foot. Uh-oh. So now if you have a really good person in your life, where I said in the beginning where you mentored somebody and they see you as a mentor that you're with because it said the two of them, remember? Break the sun, damn the dark, damn the light. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I think that you may have warned somebody that somebody wasn't going to be a good fit. <laughs> okay. They didn't listen. Shoe on the other foot. You have somebody that does love you. And now they're stuck with a woman beater. That's what this is. I want to get some. Never love me again. Yeah, somebody's like, damn, this motherfucker never love me again. Did they ever love you? I mean, because usually women beaters, you know, I see, there was a short that I share where this dude is like, yo, these dudes out here don't want women. They want men. They want it in the booty. That's what's happening because I don't know what's happening to these men. This is a man saying this. <laughs> this is a dude saying this, that there are dudes out. He goes, I, they don't want women. I, I don't know what, the, well, I know what they want. He said, they want that. I don't know what's happening. There's just, you know what it is? These misogynistic men get together and like, oh, let's go against women. And so they get so comfortable being around each other that they form this pact. 
okay? This pack now turns into attraction and they wind up being attracted to each other because they have something in common. Men, men like that don't have anything in common with a woman. You don't. The only thing you have in common is that you secretly may want to be one. That's it. So now that's, well, that's fucking crazy, man. That He's right, though. These dudes are like, it's a little bright. I mean, shit. Let's get some letters. There's no man that puts their hands on a woman that loves a woman. H. None. I don't care what they tell you afterward and this out of the other and... C H. Uh, that's blank. Keep us together. Somebody was constantly trying to keep themselves together with a woman beater. Why? But I love them though. I guess we've all been there in some way, shape, or form. That's not love, and that's not you don't have love. It's called trauma bonding. Look at this. Each. E A C. H. Will my love open the door to your heart? There's one person who has genuine love. They would never put their hands on this person. There's someone on the other side here who who they lost. So if they thought this was okay, you had one of those broads in your life, divine feminine. I feel like where they thought that it was a competition. That's why that, that Five of Swords was there. They thought that it was a competition. And we, who can get the better man? Who can have this and that? Somebody lost, because you weren't competing, I'm guessing. We don't compete. And I'm not even gonna say it's because you don't compare. You may, whatever, we just don't compete. It's just not in our DNA. People don't understand DNA and genetic makeup, whatever. Neither did I until a little while ago, so I get it. But somebody, look, she was in the other foot. Somebody's with a straight Ike, Ike Turner. Each each R or reach. Oh. Wretch. Uh oh. How do you spell wretch? R E T C H. Oh my god, look, I'm holding a T. A wretch like me. Right? Uh oh. I I once was blind, but now I see. Who who? Is that how you spell wretch? W R W R E. Oh my god, this is witch. This is witcher. Holy shit, look at this shit. W I T C H E R. You're a witcher. Wow. Come on and give me a test. So, oh shit, somebody came against a witcher. You are a master at dealing with negative energy. You are the kind of person where I said this a few videos ago. You're so powerful that you were you were put here to destroy witches, warlocks, sorcerers, voodoo priests, voodoo priestess. They're all over the place. Okay, what was put on my timeline last uh, last night was on from Vice. Okay, eighteen eighteen was the voodoo priestess of Brooklyn. It was on Vice, okay? That was them, and what I, it, it's just the whole thing that was happening at the time with what was happening and I was reading and everything, that was my guide saying, you're destroying people who were doing, like it don't matter how far away they are, it's an energy, that shit gonna come back. Don't think because you live uh, in, in on an island somewhere that it, you know, it's gonna take longer than that, okay? That's not the way the shit works. So somebody came against a witcher. So maybe this chick was doing spell work to try to keep this dude and you naturally did this shit. You are a witch as well. But the kind of magic, it's like you put spells on people too. But it's natural. They're mesmerized by you, okay? They're, and they're fascinated. People are fascinated by your energy. This is somebody who had to put with all these cups. They could have put shit in somebody's drink. You offer, ooh, you could have offered this dude advice or mentored or you told this person this broad is a witch they're putting shit in your drinks or your food blinded by the light yeah 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 well that's a whole other thing right you brought out the demon in some a lot of people and then you slay those demons okay now the people who are that are the vessels being used when you slay the demons in them, it usually destroys these people. Now, some of them can go with the flow and you actually wind up being kind of like an exorcist. You know what I wanted to say too? I was watching, I told you this before that I watch a lot of these shows about like exorcisms and stuff. 
Why are there always crosses hanging in these house? What, what kind of portal does that thing really open? What does that cross really represent with that man on it like that? That these are the places where these demons seem to dwell in these people. They're Christians. They're religious people. I have yet to see one of those shows where somebody needs an exorcism where there wasn't some kind of cross or religious shit in the house. Hmm? I just, I don't believe it. I'm not buying it. Um, I think that they are connected, to tell you the truth. Well, most of us know what that really means. It, it was a sacrifice, a human sacrifice, which is exactly what these fucking occult people do. It's the same shit. And people are, oh, I love it, I love it. Cool. Well, you're a fucking devil worshiper with this shit. Don't you get it? So what else, what else I, I, I got was, it can be done by anyone without fear. Okay, now these priests, why it seems like the priests are always the ones that can do it is because they have this like belief in this God, this Lord, so they don't have any fear. So if that helps them with the shit, fine. Um, we could go in there and do the same shit. As fearless as some of us are, they probably would run before we even walked up to them. Okay, demons and demonic energy feed off of your fear, right? And I used to, I watched that um, Ghost Hunters with Zach. He always sends the one dude, Aaron, in. He goes, God, because he's the one that has the most fear. He knows that. He says they're going to feed off your fear. If you went into some, this is why they don't bother you when you're fearless. This is why when they send that energy towards you, it has to go back because it's like, well, we're not even, they're not even afraid. <laughs> this person's not afraid of dark energy. They fuck with demons and shit. They sit around and play pinochle and smoke cigarettes and have whiskey. That's what we do how we get down over here i don't know about you so then they're like damn man it's this one we didn't know that they moved this is their address now and they have to go back to whoever sent it one by one by one people like that like us are destroying people who are fucking with this shit okay so this is amazing somebody lost when they came up against a witcher and that's you Ooh, man these messages are like on fire okay well damn let's see what else they want to talk about because Somebody, somebody wearing a shoe on the other foot, that's going to be real uncomfortable 22-22 when you got the left and the right and the right and the left. Somebody tripping over their own two feet and they're tripping over their own bullshit words and the lies that they told because I feel like somebody told somebody you were doing the shit, okay? Woo! Wrapped up like a heel. All right, let's see. Yup, you're a fucking healer. And an exorcist, if you want to get down like that, right? They came across a healer. You can't. It's impossible to send that kind of energy to a healer. They're healed. Because most of it's mental. You're healed. Did you get it? It's like dingbat galore up in here. So they keep sending it. They're going to keep sending it. This is how they wind up destroying themselves. Like, I look, natural magician. You can't make it up. Thank you, spirit guides. You are a witcher. For those of you who don't know what it is, 23 all with the dingbats who watch, look it up. Like, you're looking up chosen ones, you know? <laughs> and you're looking up how deep the punishment goes. Look up witcher, what they are. Who's got the shopping addiction? They could have tried to send some energy to you where you spend every dollar that you get. That's what this is. So, because addictions, addictions is devilish energy. It's it's being influenced by something, right? To the eyes of the sun. Some of you are sun gazing. That's where the fun is. Yeah, the sun gazing, eyes of the sun. That's great. So. They could have sent some kind of energy towards you. You could have healed from a shopping addiction for somebody. And somebody could have been trying to send some energy to you so that you would just blow all your money, okay? Damn. Thank you. Dance. Dance, dance, dance. I feel like you're just happy. You're just a happy person. Natural beauty, look at this. Natural beauty, natural magician. You could be a phenomenal dancer. You got moves, you got curves. You got the moves like Jagger. And then you got the shopping addiction over here. That didn't even really slide out. That actually was sticking out of the cards. It never actually flipped out. So I'm gonna put that back because it really doesn't make any sense. Let me see. I mean, some of you had a shopping addiction. I think everybody does, right? I mean, somebody, it's, it's, that's the matrix. 
is that they put constant ads and this and you need this you want this don't you want this your neighbors have this oh they have this doesn't your family have this fuck no all right and then you're made to be the outcast cool i'll be the outcast that still has money in my bank account okay while you guys are sitting there hawking your kids to get a new pair of shoes let's see Page of Wands. Hmm. This is you just focusing on yourself, focusing on your beauty, your health. Page of Wands is like, for me, it's like he's focused on this shit. Look, you can't take his eyes off it. I can't take my eyes off of you. I can't take my eyes off of you. Somebody fucking loves you, boy. Look, look at you. divinely guided spiritually protected from this shit trying to send dark magic to a natural magician a witcher look you walked away and started focusing on yourself your health your beauty how how, to, how can i live longer so that i can give more back right and you when you're in that energy and you, but let me tell you something just just i don't know if these people think logically i don't know i don't know i always hope so just imagine there's somebody here who wants to be the best version of themselves now okay they remember the old you they don't know who the fuck you are now who are you 26 all right there must be high love thank you yeah you have a higher love for yourself than these people do man they come through every time i cannot i love this i'm so grateful i keep telling you guys for this gift there's never going to be nothing, something playing around me that I'm not going to be able to make a, a figure out and get the messages from ever. And I'm so grateful for this because it just, it's just a gift that I have that, that I was given and I love it, right? And the more that you love it and nurture it and, and, and test it, the, the stronger it gets. So anyway, you walked away. You were guided to walk away from somebody here, right? You're like, oh, have my awakening, right? This is also a journey, my journey card. I'm being guided to walk away, move away from whatever this is, this, you know, whatever. Because you're a natural beauty, you're a natural magician, and you being around these other people were bringing you down. It was fucking with your spiritual gifts, your ability to heal. You don't want to be healed? You don't want to appreciate the healing energy you had of whoever this is in your life? Cool. We're going to tell this person to move away, even if we got to create tower moments to do it. They're going to move, and they're going to cut people out and focus on themselves. Period. Period. And then these people, what? They were in, they were like abandoning you anyway, right? Did they feel abandoned or they wanted you to feel like this or they could have moved away from you, right? Ooh, I want you to feel like this. And you're like, yeah. I'm kind of glad that you guys cut me out, right? Look, cut them out. And then behind closed doors, this is how, this is exactly how they felt. I also feel like you moved away from people who played both sides. Oh, I love you. Did you hear what happened to so-and-so? Next thing you know, they're around so-and-so. It's like, did you hear what happened to this one? And it's like, you know... You know, they thought you were going to be like this when they moved away from you. Nah. Nah. Yeah. No. You could have left a job and somebody thought, look, you could have left a job and somebody thought that you were going to be stressed out. Like, they'll be back. Meanwhile, it's like you keep getting financial opportunities. You got this healing gift. You're a natural magician. You can make shit out of, you can make gold out of shit. You know, you, you create something from nothing. This is what this is. This is alchemist energy at its finest. Naturally, you're just creative. You create shit. When you're by yourself, you create things. You're good at fixing things. You keep yourself busy. You keep your mind busy so that you're not like this, okay? That's what this is. A natural magician gets themselves out of any situation. They enjoy the challenges. They um, embrace the, the trouble, the problems, because it's like, yo, I would be bored without it. That's how I feel. My life would be completely boring if I didn't have some kind of adversity thrown at me. It's all I know in my life. And you got these other people that are trying to throw stones at you when you've had boulders fucking thrown at you your whole life, 29, 29. Like, what, what the fuck? Like, you're flicking them at this point. It's like, like, at least throw a boulder at me. Like, do you really know the shit I've overcome? Huh? No. Tell me more. <laughs> telling you, it's like crazy with these people. They see this finished product in you and they cannot believe some of the shit that you've been through. Moon. Yeah. You've embraced your dark side here. Cycles. Look, moon cycles. 
Somebody could have been doing that shit to a witcher, to a fucking healer on this past moon cycle. Oh, you guys are going to... Some, somebody going to lose their life. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They're going to lose their lives fucking with you in this witcher energy. You came here to do just what you're doing. We came here to destroy too. But we came here to destroy dark energy. That's what we do, right? You could be an earth sign. You could be a younger earth sign. This could also have been a Pisces friend of yours that, that we're talking about here with the moon card or a Cancer. Could possibly be a Cancer or a Pisces. Some of you were dealing with one, the other, or both. What else? Let's find out. Queen of Swords. You went Queen of Swords on somebody. Because you're like, damn, like, let me, let me take, look, I'm, take off. I feel like something was, uh, they were trying to slow something down for you too. With this past moon cycle, what were they trying to slow down? They were trying to slow, did cause delays in your life. A queen of cups that you had an argument with. I feel like you were loyal to it. So you could have been an earth sign or, or you don't have to be, but you were loyal. You were a loyal friend. You could be this queen of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you were loyal to this person and all they wanted to do was fight with you. What I also see is that, again, you are showing your loyal friendship and genuine love to people who just wanted you like constantly like this. What the fuck? Get out of here. Not anymore, you're not. You This higher love song, like you have a higher love for yourself than you did before. You may have not really put yourself first and people, they fed off of that. They took advantage of that. And now, so what? So, okay, so you... You know how you get those family members, especially, or even these fake friends when they're like, you really need to start taking care of yourself, you know? So you're like, you know what? You know, you're right. I'm going to get sober. I'm going to eat healthier. And now they're like, gone. Gone. Well, so did you really want me to better myself? Or were you just saying that because it sounded good, but really, you liked it better when I was down and, 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 and addictions and jumping from home to home and asking you for 20 bucks here, it made you feel good about yourself because you're sick. Somebody disrespected ancestors here, boy. They could have been um, doing some moon magic to slow down money for you and to bring some kind of conflict to you. I think that somebody, this is your ancestors. I feel like this is your ancestors all riled up. They, they stirred some shit up here. Drinks for medicinal reasons, right, 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 right. Um, I don't know if like gallons or boxes of wine a day is medicinal, but whatever. I mean, I had my excuses when I was like on, you know, doing that kind of shit too. There's a queen of cups here. That's She drinks and she causes arguments, okay? This drinks for medicinal reasons, queen of cups. Doesn't have to be a water sign, but somebody drinks and then they cause problems. So somebody could have done some shit. It could be a cancer with the moon thing here. They could have done some shit when they were drunk and now they, they regret it. You're an heir to a fortune? Who's an heir to a fortune? You're not going nowhere. It's at the bottom. So I'm guessing whoever you are, there's somebody there that's an heir to a fortune or they know that you stand to... Um, like you have a legacy, that you came here to have a legacy. Straight jacket needed, not the safest person to be around. Okay. I want to find out more about this. It's that spicy sauce. I feel like you're just spicy and feisty and you could be a Taurus. Or the Taurus is the one that needs a straight jacket. Or the Taurus is one that's an heir to a fortune. Somebody's stressed out though. Taurus, again. Tell me about this heir to a fortune. Cash. He just said cash, cash, and more cash. Uh oh. Look, look at this. Fortune. Somebody is living in this energy, but they should be in this energy here. That's what this is. Somebody is like living and barely getting by, or they wanted you like this, but bitch, no. This is this. This is that toxic ass bloodline. This is some of your family members. This could be a family member of yours, okay? I'm telling you, there's that Taurus again. You could be a Taurus. A tar Yo, I just saw the Hierophant and this Star card. That's a wrap on that, okay? Regardless of whether you're an Aquarius or whether you are a Taurus, 
you came here to get exactly what the fuck this is. And people were trying to do this to you. And keep telling you, be careful. That motherfucker wind up winning uh, hundreds of millions of dollars with the lottery and shit. And then walk right past your ass saying, bitch, weren't you trying to, weren't, didn't you flat my tires, bitch? Weren't you trying? Look. Leo. There could be a Leo that's an heir to a fortune here. They also were trying, doing magic, to try to get somebody to walk away from you and leave you abandoned like this. You could be with a Leo or put it how it fits. This could be, it's, uh, somebody could, there could be family members involved in this. Somebody was trying real hard to hold on though. This is like, this is like sending a really, really strong attachment on somebody. Somebody was trying to do on this moon cycle here. To somebody who has not, they love you. This is like a best friend or someone that has genuine love for you. They were trying to send some kind of attachment for this person to want to walk away from you or I'm fed up or they were probably trying to slow somebody's money down. So if this person is helping you financially, somebody was so pissed off because they're bitter fucking bitches, what it looks like here. And they don't have that. They got a woman beater, remember? And you don't. You got somebody who's like this, right? And I right that's it we'll always love you no matter what somebody's got very strong feelings for you if it's not a leo they were trying to fucking look and like this person oh they were trying to send an attachment to somebody to just like feel like you're a, it's a problem or it's, it's a struggle being with you or it didn't work so now what happened is that shit went back to somebody and it's like now they get lumped up by ike somebody's getting lumped up by ike here they disrespected somebody's ancestors i don't feel like somebody has any idea what the fuck is coming here do not you're saving lives. That just said, that's another thing. You fuck with somebody who's saving people's souls and saving people's lives and helping people heal because your freaking dark, dirty, crummy ass didn't want to, you won't even trouble. Disrespect ancestors and see what happens to you. Nasty drunk. Didn't I tell you? Now this, this, this queen of cups could be a dude in straight bitch energy. I want to find this out because for some of you, it is a female water sign or a female you were dealing with but for others of you man this is just a, a dude that gets drunk and does girly nasty shit behind the scenes all right can you show me yes higher ascended masters please thank you any pain they wanted to send you pain they want you to feel their pain and suffering that's not working it's not going to happen can you show me no please thank you is this Queen of Cups a female for somebody here? Okay, so there is a female who's a nasty drunk. Let's get some more letters. A. A, A. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see if more. Okay. What's this? Sack? Oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Scab? Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're an American band. Ask. Oh, ask BF. Ask boyfriend. That's what this is. Ask BF. Oh, this chick. <laughs> oh my God, I can't. So it's like saying this chick is a nasty drunk. Ask her boyfriend. Uh oh, let's find out who the boyfriend is. Holy shit, that's amazing. This could be a Pisces or a Cancer or they're both a water sign. Let's find out. Tell me about this ask BF, this nasty drunk someone's boyfriend sees like this chick is fucking crazy. Look, they're very imbalanced. It could be an earth sign or a Scorpio at the bottom. Tell me about this. Or someone's going to wind up, they can't balance that this uh, alcoholism and they may die from this shit. Yeah, look at this shit. Somebody's just like, they're... they're loopy it's like when they drink it's like they they see red or something like that and then it's like then all of a sudden the next day it's like i did what i did what a hotel detective he was out of sight is that what he just said 
Yeah, look, there's this husband or this Aries or something like that, whatever. I feel like this motherfucker's like, how do I get away from this broad? How do I get away from this bitch? Yes, look, somebody put boundaries up here. It could pass. This could be your father. There's Aquarius energy. Your father could be seeing your mother as a nasty drunk. That's that's for somebody here. Your your father is like being guided to move away, or you were. There's somebody that definitely put boundaries up with this female here. Yeah, Queen of Cups again. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. No, this is somebody's mother. I feel like you could be this child. They should have protected you. That's what this is. If you're the child of this, if this is your mom, I feel like this father here is stressed out because maybe they feel like they should have protected you. They sh Yeah, that's what this is. You could have had a father here that, uh, and, and, and they fight. He keeps going back and forth with this. I feel like this father, this Aquarius possibly, or Aries, is like, how do I get away from this person? Like, I can't be here, but it's my wife. Or now this boyfriend could be that, oh, wow. Boy, ask boyfriend. Hmm. Somebody could, um, or best friend. It could be best friend, too. Oh, my phone just lit up over here. So that could literally be someone's best friend. Your father could have a best friend or your mother's best friend could be telling a father, like, this shit is crazy. Oh, all right. So if your mom has a best friend and maybe they spend time together, they could be they could be telling your father or something like, yo, like so-and-so's got a drinking problem. A flower, I don't know. You know who that's for, but... Tell me, um, what else can you tell me about this? Candle magic? Is somebody doing candle magic? So this Queen of Cups was obviously doing, oh, wow, didn't I tell you they did something stupid to a witcher when they were drunk on a moon cycle? So now, if they did candle magic to cause some kind of conflict between you and your person, whether this is a mother or just somebody who's married or has someone, they could be getting beat. This, this, so there could be a chick that, that cheats. They could have a boyfriend on the side. Whoever this water sign is or this female that drinks and is a nasty drunk and they cause problems and they do stupid shit pot with spell work. And now it's coming back, poisoned you and others. Well, and now it's coming back to, to in this person's life now. They could be cheating on their husband, still be married, and they have a boyfriend here. These people could, they could both be talking about how this chick is a nasty drunk. This is candle magic going back with that two of pentacles. It's coming back. Oh, coming back to me now. Last name A through M. It's hitting in different, in different areas, but I feel like someone's a violent drunk, and that's what they wanted to do. They wanted you to fight with your person or people around you. Watching videos about chosen ones to see how deep the punishment goes. Didn't I tell you guys? People are scared. They're not going to look at you this way. When they see you outside, they're going to look all, look all put together. They're fucking scared. Short hair taking no accountability. Somebody with short hair is not taking any accountability here. Whoever this, this person is that does this candle magic. Or you have short hair or whatever. But Wow. Hello. 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 Yeah, somebody's just like a rager. A rager. That's what I'm getting from that. What cards do I want to use? Entertain us. I feel like I was entertaining at first, this person. But I don't feel like it's entertaining anymore. And sustain us. Somebody can't sustain themselves. They can't sustain this person. I feel stupid. They do a lot of stupid shit. Whoever this female is. They do a lot of stupid shit and say a lot of stupid shit that they can't fix or take back the next in the next day. They could drive like drunk with this accelerated motion, possibly. Eight could be relevant. Somebody could have been born on the eighth or um, in August. Look, somebody was trying to affect somebody else's stability, their security. You could have felt attachments on your spine, possibly 44, 44. And maybe somebody needs to do an etheric 
a cord cutting video, Sapien Medicine. It works instantly. It's so much better than a ritual. The ritual takes too long. It's like hopping a spiritual bath. You don't even need to do that. You listen to Sapien Medicine's etheric cord cutter video and within 10 fucking minutes, it's gone, okay? I just feel like rituals, I don't know. I don't really like doing that kind of shit, rituals, period. That's just me. But somebody was trying, they know that you keep moving forward. So how do we stop this person, right? Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. There's your answer, first of all. But besides that, before they realized this about you, they were trying to attach themselves to you and then bring negativity in your life to keep you stuck or get somebody to, to get stressed out. Like this, this is too much stress or too much worry. They didn't realize if you got like, uh, a divine counterpart you guys are never getting split up you're never gonna no one can ever split you guys up this is why a lot of you have had uh, if you met up in this lifetime like I did you had a lot of people jealous mad looking at you <laughs> right um, and why it's because there's some demon in them that fucking knows the, the power that you two hold together okay and that's just a wrap I mean I, I don't care what anybody else says I, I've witnessed it. I've experienced it. We literally can talk to nobody, okay? <laughs> I mean, he talks to people at work, and that's about it because we understand that there's people who are jealous of somebody else's relationships. We just don't want to be around it. Outside influence is what fucked us up before. We're not allowing it again, and unfortunately, they were mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and shit, so... Somebody knows that you got a firm foundation with somebody and that you guys are going to keep moving forward. You have to, there's nothing that they can do to stop this, but somebody's getting beat by somebody now. I don't know if it's the husband or the boyfriend or, or the, or, or, or the, somebody attracted a man beater. They, oh, they were trying to have you attract someone who's violent and they wind up getting it. Oops, oops, I did it again. Keep messing with that shit, right? You're just going to fall one by one by one. It may be two by two by two or more than that at this point, okay? Uh, these people had no fucking idea what they were doing when they came for this witcher energy. But somebody's probably looking it up now. We're not going nowhere. You get, you dig that? I love you guys. Tia.